This is Budget Player Cadet hanging out with Orion here at Bromberlin 2. Uh, this is a little interview. Orion is, of course, one of the top players around here. Got a few questions for him, and uh, let's just get started. Um, so, can you give can you give me a little background on yourself? Um, you're you're from. You, as far as I'm aware, you, you're the only other American immigrant here beyond myself, um, and you're, you're from New Jersey, one of the best regions in the states, pretty much the best. Like. So like, well, why are you here? What, uh, why, is, why are you coming here? What's, uh, do you go back to the States regularly? Well, I, I plan on going back to the States twice a year. I'm actually uh, not participating this whole tournament after singles. I'm leaving to take a flight back to New York, actually, to see family for three weeks. But pretty much I moved to Europe to study. Uh, I'm a music major, and pretty much I just saw a really good opportunity to study in Holland. And, that seemed a lot more interesting than anything I could have done at home, especially considering how much American colleges cost. Oh shit, I mean, you compare it, it's like <laughs> 10,000 10, bucks per semester over there, 500 over here. I think I know where I'm going to school. Actually, uh, a lot of music schools, like the top ones, it can be even like 50,000, 40,000 yes. per year tuition, not including like living expenses, so. Which is ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's stupid, it's the least. Yeah, I've been in Holland for a year now, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> well, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, so, you have you been back to the states recently? Like, when, when was the last time you flew back? Uh, last winter, in December. Last winter. Okay. Um, were you at a were you at a Smash Fest back then? I went to one tournament. How did you stack up against uh, like regular? Like, is the European metagame making you soft? Like, mm. I, guess, I guess that's really the core of the question. Okay. Honestly, the answer to that question is yes and no. I think in a lot of ways, moving to Europe made me really develop my follow-up game, and I think that's really something a lot of the like mid-high level American players really don't have together, which is, I don't know, it's just extremely important. And it also made me really get my tech skill together because there aren't as many people to play. Um, the top players here are really challenging, but the problem is is that there really aren't as much tournaments as there are in New Jersey and New York. So, uh, I, I feel like I really improve, but sometimes I feel like I lose like the edge to really, really do whatever it takes to absolutely win, because I'm playing in a tournament maybe once a month, whereas uh, before States, I was you playing play, every like week. If, if locals you every to. week. Yeah. They, almost every month, like just just recently, we had uh, Clash of the Titans five, yeah. uh, Ktar five, and now Ktar six coming up, and it's all like just just a month apart, and they're all major nationals. Yeah. So. Actually, I'm going to Ktar six, so I'm, I've actually been looking into that one myself. Um, I'm going to be in Maine for a while. I might try to catch a ride with Daswell now. Do it I, if I can if I can manage it, especially for the money. I don't know. After this, I'm going to be kind of broke. <laughs> hey, man, look, I am already broke. Actually, this tournament. I broke my number one rule for Smash, which is don't rely on Smash for money. I didn't do it intentionally, but apparently when I was going around having fun in Berlin, I withdrew a little bit too much. So, so I'm hoping that I'm, I make enough to like eat and get a train ticket to the airport. Well, you're third in teams. That, that, that's worth something already. Yeah. I, you got third in teams. I mean, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty, pretty much a sure thing that you're going to be like top five in singles. I'm hoping so, but I mean, we, we know you, come on. <laughs> no, nothing is guaranteed though, that's the yes. thing. For all this family. So, speaking of which, what do, you, what do you think your chances are here? A couple of the top spots aren't going to be showing up. Uh, I know that Stockholm and Semifer are, if they show up at all, going to be showing up possibly too late for pools. Hmm. Um, how, like, how do you feel about your chances at this tournament? Um, who do you think is going to be tricky for you? Any, any people you, you're pretty sure you can handle on the top, on the top players? Hmm. Well, honestly, right now, I, I'm not even that sure how I'm going to do because recently I've been playing a lot more melee than Brawl. I'm not very good at melee, Ooh. but... No, no, it's, it's really <laughs> fun, though. So, I, I, I do feel, not like melee very much. I, I, feel, I just like that. But, but really, I feel like my, my tech skill is really together right now and my and my juggles are really on point because if you play Marth that's just something that's very you have to be very consistent with that. Oh shit. So uh it's good. those Marths are just good crap out of me out there. I mean, seriously. <laughs> have you have you seen how those guys look when they're playing? It's like 
my god. Yeah, well, I'm not the quietest person when I play either, so <laughs> I, I can't really complain. But um, I, I'm curious how, of course, I'm always going to do against the Marth mains because it seems like either I win or I just absolutely get raped. So I'm hoping I'll just win. And uh, other than that, I really feel like I'm, I'm pretty on point. Uh, Semifer has, the last time we played, beat me in a money match, but. I don't know, I do have a pocket DDD for him, and he's not too good at the Falco matchup either, so if it really comes to that, I'll go dumb, but I'm going to try Meta Knight first, definitely. Do you think Wolf goes even with Meta Knight? Definitely not. Mm. It's just, uh, I really feel a little inexperienced in the matchup, because... I think most of us are. That they're like, there's, there's two Wolf mains worth mentioning in the world right now, as far as I'm aware. There's Kane, Kane and, and the Sim <laughs> And that, that's, that's literally it. Everyone else is... My level. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna love, I'm gonna give a little shout out to Choice because he uses Falco and Wolf, and uh, I don't know. I don't know who that he, is. He's he's a West Coast player. Um, yeah, that would be why. And then Holmes is pretty decent. Also, he's not as good as Kane, but I, he's also a Midwest Wolf. And uh, but there's still few and far between. It's, it's like oh, with it's, Pikachu or Zero Suit. Yeah, and Fox also. Like what? Oh, what God. foxes are there? There's TK. TKD, Zeton, and. Um, but that, well, that's the thing, like, after TKD, there's, like, this large skill gap between us. Yes, I can imagine. It's, it's kind of scary. Kind of, so. Like, speak, speaking of which, do you think any character goes even with Meta Knight? Um, like, say, given the current rule set here in Germany, okay. and given the Unity rule set in the States? I, I definitely think in Europe, characters go a lot better against Meta Knight. One, especially at this tournament, you know there's Rainbow Cruise and Brimstar Band. Unfortunately. Um, I'll get back to that later. That's that's a whole different story, but I do think characters like Diddy, Falco, Olimar, um, Marth, really do well against Meta Knight. I, I think Fox is a good matchup, but I don't think he goes even. I still think Meta Knight wins that 6-4. Uh, even then, to be honest, I still think Meta Knight versus uh, Marth and Falco, he still wins those, but it's not by a lot, it's very close, especially if you consider perfect play. But um, Diddy, I think, is still, it's, it seems really even when I play like really good players at the matchup. It's just extremely momentum based because either Meta Knight is gimping the shit out of Diddy Kong or Diddy Kong has this like wall of shit going on and it's just. Diddy. Yeah. I, I still can I still contend that Diddy is the single most homosexual character in this game. Meta Knight, no way. Diddy, no way. It, it's Diddy. Fuck those Maneras. Honestly, my, <laughs> my personal hatred goes out to Olimar, but Oh god, I hate that character. I, I have no idea how to play that guy. It's just so, random shit. So would you consider yourself the best Meta Knight in Europe at the moment? Uh well we, there there are a couple other contenders, BJs at this tournament. We're gonna see how that works out. I, I, um, I guess there's the, chaos. Yeah, that's true. And there's Stacco. And that's really, Stocko, that's really it for top contenders, I think. Demos is getting there, but not there yet. Um, <laughs> he's a French medal now, but... He actually recently won a tournament. He beat Leon and... I, I saw that. I was like, Who, who's this guy? Who's but, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Currently, I think the Meta Knights have, like, different strengths. Like, I think Chaos is probably the smartest. But, um... I, I think he doesn't. Have, he doesn't quite have the tech skill. Or... He just. I don't know. When I played him, he picked really good options, but some. He just seemed like a little slightly uh, be number one or at worst number two uh, in Europe for the Meta Knight spot. I think DJ has a really, really amazing pressure game, but he's just a little inconsistent, and he doesn't really know matchups that well. Like I still remember at MSN, he lost pretty badly to Mr. R Snake, if I remember. Mm -hmm. Actually, speaking of that. Chaos lost to uh, uh, or loses to Snake pretty badly also, so I think at least, I. <laughs> it's a weird matchup, but I, I think at least versus the top tiers for the most part, I, I probably have a better grasp matchup-wise than most of the European players, but I don't know, maybe I just have more tournament experience, but I, I do think uh, Chaos is probably the smartest player right now. Like, yeah, that's fair enough. So, uh, you've been practicing the Zero Suit matchup? Not at all. Scared of Quicksilver? Like, I'll go Meta Knight, and hopefully that doesn't happen again. If it goes really bad, I'm gonna go Falco, but 
I don't think yeah, I he, he told me he he told me he was really glad that Blood and Briggs won. <laughs> so I I don't know Falco's Falco's pretty hard on me. Falco's really good. Yeah. So so what do you think about this this new change in the German rule sets? The recent the the bans Brinstar solidifies PS2 as a counter pick. I think it's a great step forward, personally, and as soon as I find out who's responsible and where they live, I'm going to do my best to murder, I, I mean, uh, thank and send them presents. Um, but what do you think of this? Honestly, like, I don't really mind. Uh, the, the rule set change isn't drastic enough that I feel like I would win or lose sets over it, so it doesn't really affect me as a player. As far as going into my personal opinion, like, uh, I'm pretty conservative, as you know, as like a stageless yeah. person. I'm sorry. So um, are most people around here. Like, it, it really does suck that I don't have Red Star or Rainbow Cruise because now people will ban Delfino on me. But uh, I, I just think, I, I don't know, I think it makes a lot of characters more viable. Uh, That's true sure enough. So th there's good ends and there's bad ends. Like, you have to, I really think for rule sets, you kind of have to pick your poison. Are you willing to make characters unviable or are you willing to just get rid of stages and that's really the difference between conservative versus like a, I don't even know what the other one is I'm just too tired but I, I, I personally disagree with that and I think there are, there are several people who do disagree that and I, I, I think that most of Mennonite's worst stages at the moment and some of the best counter picks against him are actually banned unjustly Yoshi's Island Melee comes to mind as best but uh, I'd rather not get into that <laughs> I, I oppose the banning of stages on mostly philosophical grounds. Pragmatically speaking, this doesn't really bother me that much. On a philosophical level, though, it, it really hurts. Hmm. I, I was I was very angry about this for quite a while. Well, Akuma's a pretty stubborn guy, let's put it like that. Yeah, fuck Akuma. I, <laughs> no, no, I, I love He's that an guy. awesome guy. I, I love that guy, but seriously, fuck the German rule set. So, okay, do you think you're the most insane player at this tournament? It, <sighs> And if not, who, who would you call the most insane? That's... That's a little hard. I think... I think everybody kind of has their own strength. Like, I think... I mean, as, I mean as far as, like, mental sanity, as far as oh. being, an, being, like, a crazy nutcase. Okay, I thought you meant, like, hyped crazy. No, 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 no that's... <laughs> uh, mental sanity... Mm. Sometimes my man Mark from the Senate back room worries me a little bit. <laughs> he scares me sometimes, I have to admit it. Yes, like, like, like when, I, when I think about the most insane person in this tournament, it's probably going to be either you or Yikarur. Oh, Yikarur, he's just fucked up on a different level. Like, I, I forgot about him. Like, he's cool, but I don't know. Sometimes he just asks me the most awkward questions, and he's so honest that I know he doesn't do it to piss me off, but he just makes me really angry. Like, I remember... <laughs> When I lost the Stocko, he, he just came up to me and it was just like, Ryan, why did you lose? And I was just, why, why does it look like I know the answer to this question? Like, what, <laughs> even if I did, like, what do you want from me to, what do you want me to say? Like, oh, wow. I just finished the match. Like, <laughs> but he, he's a nice guy. He's just, <laughs> he's just yicker. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, I just thought that would be a funny question to ask. All right, all right, last question. Are you into My Little Pony from Ship is Magic? Fuck My Little Pony, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry. I don't like you anymore. All right, all right. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, that's uh, Orion, one of the, definitely one of the top players of this tournament. Uh, we'll see how this turns out in singles.